lungs struggle to expand. Each breath is a labor, a rasping, grating sand. Every cough is a symphony of pain. The air I've been breathing is a weapon in disguise. It has been a slow and silent war that saps and cripples my lungs. My lungs can no longer hold air because they hold the dust of years upon years of illegally mined tin. With our hands, we've destroyed our lands. My lungs are a testament of how our greed matches our need to be safe. We risk our health and our futures for a dream built on our desperation. We have sold our farmlands and exchanged our lungs for a short-lived life and a death that we could avoid. There isn't enough air left in our lungs to fight back. Our sons are still buried beneath ground. Our bodies are too bent and frail to pull them back up above ground. The little land that is left has turned into a slaughter slab. The war that we fight is both within and without yet. Yet, there isn't enough air left in our lungs to fight back, but even as we gasp for air, we raise our voices. It is a debt we owe to those whose lives have been cut short because there was no safety. We raise our voices to honor those who fell, those who did not make it out of the ground. They have become seeds of trees whose fruits our children will eat from. There is no need for our lungs to become a depot of gold dust, and instead of a man's walk to become a death embrace, it should become a haven. A sacred space to preserve a man's life. We raise our voices from the depths of earth where the shadows rule, where sunlight deems and the man's hope begins to fray. We echo, safety first. We can avoid these deaths. Safety first.